Boxing Truth here. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about Ryan Garcia, King Rye. Coming off a sensational performance. Lighted the crowd up with that highlight reel knockout over Francisco Francesca. Made easy work of Francesca, dispatched him in less than a round. What was a sensational knockout win. And King Rye has arrived as a guy that's finally going to be facing world-class opposition going forward. It's already in the works. De La Hoya has revealed the details of a possible Jorge Linares fight at the Staples Center. And that's going to be a big event, a good fight to look forward to. And King Rai is on his way to uh, even bigger stardom. To proving the doubters wrong that he's more than just a Instagram star, that he's just a uh, pretender. The kick and fight man, he's really improved over the last couple of years being with Eddie Reynoso, working on the talents that he already has, that he possesses, which is good speed and explosiveness with his combinations and punches. All the guy has to do is work on his defensive flaws, tune that up a little bit, work on his defense, and the kid has the potential to be an elite fighter, even a pound-for-pound level fighter. All we have to find out now is how tough he is. Is he as tough as Oscar De La Hoya was in his prime? Not just as good-looking as he was, but is he as tough as he was? Does he have that toughness? Does he have that type of chin? He hasn't really been in there with any serious power punchers in his career but now with this opportunity against Linares he'll be in there with a a puncher a guy who's had highlight reel knockouts of his own and it's a great opportunity for Lin- for uh, for uh, Ryan Garcia to make another statement against a, a fighter who's been established who's been world champion in a number of divisions But it's all about timing in boxing. And Ryan Garcia will most likely knock out Jorge Linares. And what still should be a good, entertaining fight, no matter how long it lasts. Linares is just, even though he's still capable of beating some fighters, his punch resistance is even worse than what it was before. He cuts up very easily. And it's just this kid's time. He's just way too young, way too fresh for Jorge Linares to deal with at this stage of his career. Too explosive, too fast, and punches too hard for Linares to deal with that type of firepower and explosiveness in the combinations. King Rai might even make easy work of Linares. He might even dispatch him in less than a round, maybe within four or five rounds in what should be a shootout of a fight. But it's still a great opportunity for Ryan to fight a guy who's at the world class level, who's been in, who has a lot of experience, been in championship bouts, been in elite fights. It's a great opportunity for Ryan Garcia to announce to the boxing world that he's arrived and he's on his way, man. He's on his way. I mean, he's already fought decent opposition. I mean, he's not the worst in the world, it's not the best in the world. But at least he's taking the steps in the right direction to prove that he's a world-class fighter, unlike his rival Devin Haney, who just calls people out and fights nobody. Bunch of noise being thrown out by him. But right now, Tiafimo remains the guy who is leading the pack of these younger generation fighters. I don't know why Gervonta Davis is being included in these in this bunch. He's He's th- four. He's three or four years older than these cats. He's already an established guy with with title defenses. Already headlining events. I mean, these guys are barely getting their feet wet. I mean, Ryan doesn't even have a world title around his waist. Devin Haney was gifted a belt. And hasn't fought anyone yet. And Tiafimo just won his first world title, and now he's gonna have his first headlining event. So. Gervonta's a little surpassed those guys. But they're coming. They're on their way. Boxing's in good hands. And Ryan Garcia 
will make a statement when that when if and when he ever fights Jorge Linares as he will knock him out and put him into retirement. That's the boxing game. It's all about timing. This is boxing truth. I'm out. <laughs>